you know whilst the blackberry key too is all about being productive and being efficient and getting all your stuff done and hustling sometimes it's good to just <coughs> chill out on the couch watch some movies play some games but can the blackberry key to handle that or is it only for emails well let's find out Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name's Liron Sega, where I make technology simple. And today, it's all about media consumptions on the BlackBerry Key 2. Now, media consumption is just another fancy buzzword marketing term, meaning can I watch movies, can I listen to music, can I play some games, and will this phone handle it? Well, let's put the BlackBerry Key 2 through those paces. Okay, so let's start off with something like Hulu. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, let's find something to watch. Feature man, yeah, whatever. I don't know what that is. Click that and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so the one thing that you'll immediately notice it doesn't go full screen. So when you turn into portrait mode, it doesn't fill the entire screen. It's very clear, sounds great, um, looks good. Remember, this room is very lit because of the camera, so it's still pretty cool. Okay, let's step it up. Can you run Netflix at the same time that you run Hulu? Okay, now these are two going to be very graphic intensive applications. Let's see what it does. So we're going to fire up Netflix. Let's do that first. And find something to watch, which is always a problem on Netflix. I don't know. Okay, let's do that. Cool. So you can see you can actually put a, you can actually minimize that and put a picture in picture. But can you play two movies at the same time? So we've got Hulu and Netflix. Can we run them simultaneously? There we go. In fact, if you listen, you can actually hear the sound coming out of both the Netflix and Hulu. <laughs> now that's, I think, is pretty cool. All right, let's pause those. What else can we do? Um, let's see if we can fire up something like YouTube. I suppose YouTube is a good thing to test. Right, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, let's find one of my Blackberry movies just to kind of keep the theme going here. And can you play YouTube at the same time that you play Hulu or Netflix? Well, it's for today. Phoenix. Oh, there we go. Apparently you can. Now, I don't have YouTube Red, so it doesn't allow me to pop out that video. So this is just a regular, good old YouTube, so no subscription. All right, what else can we do? Um, oh, what about PUBG? Can you play that, which is we know is pretty intensive, at the same time whilst watching a movie? No. PUBG takes quite a while to load, so whilst it's doing that, I'm going to carry on watching my movie. Let's fast forward this bit so we can actually just get into the game and let's see what the graphics are like. I need a hand with the van, please. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So now, just so we clear, I've got Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and PUBG running. I can see PUBG and I can see uh, my Hulu movie playing at the same time. And there doesn't seem to be any lag on PUBG. The graphics seem to be cool, nice and responsive, and I'm watching my movie at the same time. Now that's multitasking for you. And if I want to switch into my, continue to watch my YouTube videos, I can just do that. Yeah, the multitasking on this device is just insane. All right, let's do something else. Let's go into another game, and something like Subway Surfers, and let's see how that's, how that's responsive, again, whilst watching the movie the entire time. Okay, well, surely there's no lag on that either. Simple game, good graphics, everything's perfectly cool. Okay, what else can we do? How about Pandora? Let's listen to a Pandora station. Uh, just do a comedy thing, just to keep it PG. What else would we got here? There we go. Okay, got Gabriel going. 
at the same time whilst watching a movie. I mean, just that's pretty cool on a mobile device. What else we got going? Right, how about watch just good old Instagram, see what Instagram Objective movies will be like whilst the other movies playing. Let's find something. Oh, again, no lag and it just seems to work perfectly cool. Alright, let's get serious, let's close everything down, let's just do Pike G and see how that works on the key too. Um, I must say, whilst there's no lag between watching kind of Netflix and Hulu and Netflix and YouTube or Instagram stories, when you can get to a game like this, where everything is about screen movement and reaction times, there is a slight delay. Um, it's almost a little, just a tiny little lag, which is a little frustrating because you tend to miss your shots by that tiny split second. So you'll see as I'm moving. Moving? moving, moving, moving around here. You'll see that as I get locked on target, as I press the button, it's just that is a little delay from the time you press to the time the bullet actually fires out. Now, obviously, on a game like this, well, <laughs> that could be in between winning and losing. Graphic-wise, is everything pretty cool? It renders really, really well. Uh, Music-wise, sound-wise, again, also good. Reaction times, fine. Um, look, I'm not the greatest. Um, G player in the first place, but um, there's, there's something a little bit frustrating here where it just misses, it's just a little off. Um, it could be my aiming, I'm not saying it's not. Alright, let's go try and find this guy. Okay. I wonder what Fortnite will look like once Fortnite does become available for Android officially. Whether that will kind of translate really well into this or not, or will we have the same reaction? Remember, in Fortnite, you got so many more buttons. You got your builds. You got a whole bunch of things to deal with. I wonder how that will work on a device like this. Okay, so let me show you. Kind of, once you kind of do slow the game down a little bit, and you do tend to get more control over it. So, well, hold on, I'm getting shot here. There we go. That's one, and let's finish him or her. <laughs> So as you can see, the BlackBerry Key 2 can handle this with no problem. So not only is it good for work, being productive and getting your stuff done, but it's also pretty cool for media consumption, it's pretty cool for playing games, it's pretty cool for watching Netflix and Hulu at the same time, so you can double speed your binge watching and catch up. And of course you can bounce between your applications, so you can go from the one to the other to the other. Um, are there any issues? Yes, a little bit of a lag here with a game like PUBG. Other games you're not going to feel it, like driving simulators, don't really notice any difference whatsoever. And again, um, when you're not running multiple things at the same time, you're not asking the phone to handle multiple things at the same time, well, it's obviously going to respond better. So are there any other additional features on the BlackBerry Key 2 that you need to be aware of? Great questions, and of course they are. So first of all, check out the BlackBerry Keyboard video if you haven't seen that one already. Here it is. And there'll be more features are coming up on the next episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guys. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Tell me what you think about my Pug G's playing skill. I don't think I'm pro. Basically professional. Sean Durris, I'm coming for your team, dude. And I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers for now.